ABU Robocon, in which students from Asia-Pacific countries and regions compete with their ideas and robotic technology. This year's contest was held in Ulaanbaatar, the capital city of Mongolia. Seventeen teams who fought to the top of their domestic competitions gathered at the venue. A day before the contest at the pit area. Contestants are busy getting their robots ready for the competition. Students are looking at their rival team's preparation with keen interest. Almost every country is here, so we want to, you know, share knowledge and uh, our technology, share technology information, make friends, and uh, of course uh, we want to win the competition. But the uh, most important thing is to have fun. We could improve for next year's competition held in Fiji, so at least we can be a bit more competitive. Uh, in, in that sense. It's a, a lot of sleepless nights, but we managed to uh, do something and then create a robot and build one. It's a lot of pressure on me to work in the future or to continue studying. It's a lot of pressure on me to solve the problems. This year's contest theme features Mongolian equestrian culture incorporating relay messengers called Great Urtu. To begin with, the manually operated robot starts, with a pass called Gerege on hand. With this Gerege, the manual robot travels through the path and passes it on to the second robot. This is an automatic robot, which has to move with four legs. It has to climb over the step, get over the rope, then stop for a while. Here comes the manual robot again. It throws a die called Shagai. If it gains more than 50 points successfully, the automatic robot can proceed. If the automatic robot climbs the mountain and raises the Gerege at a height of more than one meter, it achieves Buhai, which means Banzai in Mongolian. On the contest day, the venue is filled with over 3,500 audience members. The contest began with a gorgeous opening ceremony. of the contest. The Vietnamese team, which has held the title of champion for seven years, demonstrates excellent stability. They deliver Gerege, surmount the obstacles, throw the Shagai smoothly, and climb the mountain with speed. They achieve Uhai with an excellent time of 30 seconds. The Japanese team has greatly improved their robots for this contest. Their robot features a four-legged mechanism that moves in small increments. 
they achieved Uhai in 39 seconds. The Chinese team has a high-speed manual robot and a quadruped robot that moves smoothly like a real horse. They achieve Uhai at a mere 18 seconds. The Mongolian team clears all the tasks with stable movement, and they achieve Uhai in 45 seconds. This brightly colored robot is from Fiji. The robot moves like a worm, coated with a traditional ethnic pattern called mashi. This team does not achieve Uhai, but they did a good job. A great variety of unique robots appeared one after another. Every team tried their best, and fierce battles were waged. From the host country, Mongolia. Team members lived on the university campus for more than half a year in preparation for the contest. <laughs> Students devoted themselves to Robocon and worked together. No matter how hard it was, they overcame various difficulties with irreplaceable friends. All the teams participated in the contest with national pride. With such determination from the Mongolian team, the match against the reigning champion team of Vietnam was fierce. The game was neck and neck, with neither team giving in. Both teams achieved Uhai at almost the same time. In the end, the result was determined by video. Mongolia win by Uhai. Mongolia won the round. A roar of cheers filled the venue. After that, the final match was held between Mongolia and Hong Kong. From the beginning, Hong Kong ran the course with stable movement and achieved Uhai. Hong Kong became the ABU Robocon champion for the first time. After the game, the Mongolian students visited the Hong Kong team. They shook hands with smiles. The Mongolian students who put up a brave fight during the contest must have left a great impression of their courage on the audience. Such passion must be passed on to the next generation. On the next day of the contest, students gathered at the venue again and attended the Friendship Exchange Program. The students crowded around the robots that played an active part in the contest. With serious expressions, they exchanged information with once rival teams. Right now, data is so perfect, but the frequency of some of them gave small gifts. Our team. Uh, oh. 
This kind of exchange, which transcends nationality, is the epitome of ABU Robocon. After that, they went on a tour of the Mongolian steppe. <laughs> Students deepened friendships with each other while getting first-hand experience with the Mongolian nomadic culture. Here were no more cultural and language barriers. The contestants learned a lot from the experience in Mongolia. The ABU Robocon 2020 will be held in the Pacific Island of Fiji. What will it be like next? Stay with us. <laughs>